Welcome back once again. Pascal and Tom bring you another show today. Today I'm going to talk about 7 out of 15 stocks you might want to put in your portfolio. The next 8 will be in the second half of this video. All right. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome. If you're a new subscriber, you know, welcome to my channel. I talk about passive income, different types of investments you might want to get involved with. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back. You know, previously at my last two videos, I talked about the best stocks you want to buy in April. You know, and then I had another set of stocks, the best other set of stocks to buy and buy in April. I thought I'd be going move to a different topic after that, but I happened to find some 15 other stocks in my magazine that I subscribed to, Clippingers. And I'm gonna talk about half of those stocks today. I'll talk about the next half of stocks and the other set of in the next video because 15 stocks, I don't think you can handle all 15 stocks at once. So I'm going to break it down today. I'm going to give you half today and half in the next video. So that way you can still sit back, analyze it, and really think about, you know, hey, do I want to do more research and add these stocks? Um, just so you know, I don't want to go too in-depth on these stocks. I want to give you an idea on what these other publications, what they recommend because that's up to you. It's up to you to do the research and find out, hey, do I want to add this stock to my portfolio? Personally, I have not invested in any of these stocks. I just want to say that right up front. I'm just going to share with you quickly, you know, what these stocks are. And so you can go and do your own due diligence. That's what it's all about. That's what investing, anything with personal income, anything with dividends, investing, that's what you've got to do. You've got to find out what you want to do. This video is being sponsored by Webull. So right now, if you open up an account, you get one free stock valued between $2.50 and $250. If you deposit at least $100 in the account, you'll get your second free stock. The second free stock will be valued between $100, I'm sorry, between $12 and $1,400. I mean, you can open up, you open up the account, you get two free stocks. I mean, you can't pass it up. Okay, but now let me get on to what I was talking about. Okay, the past 12 months has been good for has been good for US stocks and the Kiplinger dividend 15. These are the favorite dividend paying stocks having risen right along the broad market. Of the past year, the average return of the stocks on their list has been S&P 500 has an identical 21.7% rise. After the run up, their list still holds a healthy 3.5 average dividend list still sports a healthy 3.5% average dividend compared with 1.9% for the S&P 500 and 1.5% for the 10-year treasury note. Okay, the first one on their list is 3M. Shares of the industrial giant 3M plunged 17.9% over the past year and now sits 37% below the 2018 high. Cyclical slowdown in the automotive and consumer electronics market both of which include the major buyers of 3M products, have crimped earnings of the late. 3M is restructuring and cutting costs in order to rebound strongly once these beaten down markets rebound. More concerning is that 3M is among the companies facing lawsuits surrounding the manufacture of chemical substances using products such as fire retardant foams and that have allegedly contaminated water supplies Early figures that the litigation accounts for some 15 to 20 billion dollars in lost margin value for 3M since 2018. Okay, this is Wednesday morning when I'm shooting this before the market even opens. So 3M is sitting at $150.14. <coughs> so the one year high has been, you know, $219.25 and the low has been $114. Currently, the dividend is 5.88% or I'm sorry, the, the Ford dividend has 5.88 and then the Ford yield is 4.2%. You know, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers talking about 3M. They added the, their portfolio and it, you've seen other channels talk about it as well. So, okay, the next stock is ADP, Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated. I'm currently sitting at $220.79. All right, ADP is the Air Products and Chemicals 
provides atmospheric gases, processes, and specialty gases, equipment, and services worldwide. You know, the company produces atmospheric gases, including oxygen, nitrogen, argon, and rear gases, producing gases such as hydrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, syngas, and specialty gases, and equipment for the production of processing gas and comprising air suppression units and non cryogenic generators for consumers in various industries, including refining, chemical, gasification, metals, electronics, manufacturing, food and beverage, uh, manufacturing, resonance, imaging, energy production, and refining, and metals. Ooh, that's a, that a long one. <laughs> ADP had a, a one-year high of $257 and a one-year high of $167. <clears throat> the core dividend is 5.36 and the dividend yield is 2.43%. Right, the next one is Emerson Electric sitting at $50.49. Emerson Electric is a technology engineering company that provides solutions to industrial, commercial, and consumer markets worldwide. It operates in automation solutions, commercial and residential solutions segments. The automation solution segment offers measurement and analytical, analytical instrumentation, industri industrial values and equipment, and processes cross software and processes control software and systems. The automation and solution segment offers measurement and analytical instrumentation, industrial values and equipment and process control software systems. All right, EMR had a high of $78.38 and a low of $37.75. It currently has a $2 dividend yield. It currently has a four dividend of two and a four dividend of 3.91%. Right, the next one is ExxonMobil, XOM. You know, it's for sitting at $42 and 43 cents. I mean, it's incredible how low this has got. I remember a couple years ago, Exxon used to be over $100, you know, so it's almost 50% off of what it was. But uh, if you don't know, you know ExxonMobil explores and for and produces crude oil and natural gas in the United States, Canada, and other Americas, uh, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Oceania. You know, the oil market has taken a beating this year, not because of CV, but because of everything going on in the Middle East. So ExxonMobil had a low of $30.11 and a high of $83.49. Currently has a four, divid four dividend of three and four, 348, a four dividend yield of a 8.07%. Uh, ExxonMobil has a 3.48, uh, ExxonMobil has a four dividend of 3.48 and a dividend yield of 8.07%. Right, the next one is J and J Johnson and Johnson. You know everybody probably has some type of Johnson Johnson product in their house, <laughs> sitting at you know one hundred forty six dollars and three cents. You know very briefly, if you don't know, you know Johnson and Johnson together with its subsidiaries, research and develops, manufactures and sells various products in the healthcare field worldwide. I don't go any more detail, but I think you know what Johnson Johnson is. Johnson's holding it pretty well. You know, had a low of $109.16, a high of $154.50. I honestly do own some J&J. &J. It's under one of my other ETFs, uh, one of my mutual funds, excuse me, under um, Tecla World Healthcare Fund. So if you don't have Tecla Health World Healthcare Fund, check it out because as a steady dividend payer, it pays out monthly and also has J&J &J in its portfolio. But, uh, you know, J&J &J has a dividend of 3.8%. Jane J has a has a four dividend of three point eight, and a dividend yield of two point seven two percent. All right, the next one is Procter and Gamble, sitting at one hundred twenty dollars and ninety six cents. You probably have Procter. You may even have Procter and Gamble in your house as well. You know, Procter and Gamble provides branded consumer product, packaged goods to consumers in North and North America and Latin America, Europe, Asia, Greater China, India, Middle East, and Africa. Okay, so Procter & Gamble, the low was $94.34 and a high of $128.09. So Procter & Gamble is also not too far off of its high. So this one is also holding steady with everything going on in the markets today. So it has a four dividend of 2.98 and a four dividend yield of 2.57%. Okay, the last one I'm talking about today is Walmart. Yeah, everybody knows Walmart has been around forever. It's at $129. 
uh, Walmart engages in retail and wholesale operations in various formats worldwide. The company operates through three segments, Walmart US, Walmart International, and Sam's Club. And if you've never read you know, Sam Walton's book, I encourage you to read it. It's a great story. I read it when I was in college, you know, I was on the beach one time. And I read it, I mean, I read it like it's a great read, easy, gives you a lot of ideas of what this man was thinking. You know, he built, you know, from a small store into what worldwide, what Walmart is. You know, so Walmart has a low of $98.85 and a high of $129.79. So Walmart is almost at its peak as well. You know, I mean, it's doing incredible, holding up steady, you know, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to Walmart trying to get their toilet paper, you know. <laughs> but um, because Walmart has a four dividend of 2.16 and has four dividend yield of 1.72%. All right. So that's all I'm going to cover today. You know, I give you everything quick and dirty, right to the point. But you know, you know, I'm going to be back with the next video. So if you haven't already liked this video, subscribe, click the open notification, and check out these other videos here, which you may get some more insight on what you want to do for dividend investing, more passive income as well. All right. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon.